Yeah, I say I'm a hater, but th this is what a hater would do. A hater would try to burn your plaques up. I'm screwed up, but I guess it was too many. So she just was like, I can't burn them all. Nigga, too plaqued up. <laughs> That's my fucking school yard. Oh, but like, my neck hurts really, really bad. Like, it really hurts. Bro, Blueface a whole comedian out here. He a fool, bro. So Krishan, she and his John trying to burn down all his plaques, destroy his property. And people still trying to defend her, bro. It's so many fans that I ain't realize she got. In my last video I made about Krishan, bro, they came to her defense so quick, bro. Like, God damn. At some point, she got to take some responsibility. She had 50,000 times to lead this nigga. He gave her so many chances to show he didn't want her. He only want her for what he can get out of her. So he going to use her for sex, or he going to use her for money, or he going to use her for whatever. Because he gave her the platform. So now him and WAC 100 giving her dates to perform here or do a walkthrough here. They literally walking her to the money. So the way Blueface looking at it, like, I made you. You know what I'm saying? Because the other day she want to get online and tell me something. I need all my money. All my money I made. I need it. I need it. Like, you ain't getting a damn dime. I bet that that's the only reason why Blueface ain't kick her out. Because... This is not the first time that she destroyed his house. And the house not even in Blueface's name. It's in Wack 100 name. That's the funny part. Because he got her kicked out one time before. But of course, Blueface, he got back in touch with her and let her back in. And now she officially living there. But she already got put out probably like back in 2021. But of course, Blueface, he ain't letting that go. He gonna act like it online on social media. He gonna act like he don't want her. But behind closed doors, he want her because if he truly didn't want her, if he truly didn't care, he wouldn't get in his feelings every time she out partying and another rapper in her face. He would not care. So he could do all that fake pep and shit online, but I bet behind closed doors, he'd be on his knees begging her at the state. But I don't blame him. She literally does everything he say when he wants sex, when he need her to make some money, when he need her to clean or cook or whatever. She does that shit. That's why he constantly embarrasses her. Because he's like, look, if I can get away with this, then maybe I can get away with that. If I can get away with this, then he's going to keep doing it. And she's so blinded by the fame or whatever he doing to her. Like, she's so hypnotized or something. Because she could have been left. But I know if that was me, if a girl in my house and she destroying my property trying to set my shit on fire, that's the final struggle. Like, you going to get out. You never coming back. You, you violated to the utmost high. But they got a different relationship. He said it in several interviews. This is my business partner. This is not my girlfriend. Like, she makes me money. Up until the other day, she was bragging about how she made her money. Now she want to get in her feelings when he go over to baby mama house and he started clowning her about how he ain't going to watch the baby and how she going to be stuck by herself. Now she want him to get out. Now she want to say, where's my money? Like, no, he should have been saying that. I would have been saying that from day one. After my first show, I would have been like, where's my money? Like, I'm not going to go for that. Oh, we're going to keep it all in one account shit. But anybody that would get all them tattoos of, of a nigga that's treating her crazy, like, what do you expect? Like, I don't expect too much from somebody like that. But at the end of the day, shit, they getting money. Shit, what do my opinion even matter, man? What y'all think about this shit, bro? Be much.